Uh, hello everybody. Um, it's me, old Biddy Boy Sasselfax. And I'm here as well, Anna. Yes, you are, but you're not the star of this poll, I am. I'm here to show you everybody my build. Oh, you just saw a bit of it there. What build? Well, I've been building things in Minecraft. There's a couple of gentlemen here. Just pan up and show them so I don't fla flounce around. Alright then. DJ Jim Jim Jimmington, hello. Punch him. Look at this. Uh, it's my Abby. Yeah, that's right. And there goes a the gentleman bouncing in for the ceremony. Um, well, let's begin in the inside. Ah, oh, fly. It's hallowed, hallowed ground, of course. And here we go. Just wait for it to load up. It's a bit slow at the moment. Some of the congregation are getting ready for the service. Um, I'm not a priest myself, but, uh... But butter. I like butter, Cecil. I love it, in fact. Yes. To turn, turn the, year. Uh, that's better. Better butter. And now and then, I've been building this for a long time, and this gentleman here, DJ Jimmy, I'm not sure he is an actual DJ. Um, he has been watching me a lot of the time. Oh, excuse me, sir. He's been watching me a lot of the time, um, flying around and just keeping me company, keeping my spirits up. So it's been a long and arduous, oh, excuse me, a long and arduous affair. It really has. How long has it taken, old biddy boy? Um, since Christmas. So that's about three months, isn't it, Paul? That is, yeah, that's right. What's this I'm looking at now? Well, this is the alcove of the dead. Uh, you'll come here if you if you know anyone who's dead and just go up to the pitch and go, Oh, yes, Skellington. Oh, gentle. Right. Who's that? That's Clamshell um, Bubblespit. That's uh, his name. Um, High Priestess. He's uh, not a lady, but he is a priestess. Um, can't tell you why. All right, then don't bother then. Go and show some of the... Ah, <laughs> take a picture. What's these things, Cecil? These are the benches where you come uh, when there's a coronation ceremony and you'll sit down and you'll watch the people coming in and getting married. Right, I see. Princess Diane, Lady, Lady Charles. Oh, excuse me, sir. Yes, they'd come here and get married. That's right. Now, those aren't holes in the ceiling, are they, Cecil? No, it's just uh, it's the way the view distance has gone a bit wrong. Let's have a look at the... Uh, uh, oh, the Who's that? There's a demon flicking through the bibble. That's your uh, um, altar, isn't it? Is the way you do your sacrifices? Yes. Here you go, lad. Have a Bible. Oh, there he is again. Oh, cheeky face peeping out. Yep. Lovely. And uh, we've got uh, Mr. Mr. Bog here at the piano. He's using his face to play it, which is a bit strange, but he's a bit strange sometimes, isn't he? Crazy spaceman there. Didn't know our, our human ways. So, uh, stand next to him and freak him out a little bit. Uh, and, uh, oh! To get off! Now walk on the piano with your feet. Oh dear. And what's this area here, Sizzle? Well, this is where the gentry will come and uh, sit and listen to, to, to the sermons. Uh, yes, gentry, your gentry. Peon, even. No, you mean peasant, Sizzle. Yes, I do. Oh, and here we've got the pipe organ. <laughs> now, I saw you building this and I mocked you for it because it looks rubbish. Yes, it does a bit. It looks a bit rubbish, but, you know. From a distance. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Now let's have a look at some of the windows. You obviously can't do a stained glass. Yeah, bloody hell. But, uh, oh, oh, that would have been good if we'd gone all the way through. Oh, look at that one. It's, uh, it's sick. It's beautiful, Cecil. Paul, stop it, please. It's serious. Religious business. And of course here we see the symbols of the religion. I'll talk a bit more about them when we're outside. 
the main congregation. This is the choir, of course. Um, the, 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 none of them have hands, um, so they can't do manual labour like decorating and painting. There he is again. Um, so they're, 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 they're castrato, of course. Of course they are. Um, big noses, though. Yes. Um, yeah, so it's taken friggin' ages to build Paul. I'll show you outside the chandeliers. Goodbye, DJ. Oh, he's following me. He's following me. Right, and now you got a landscape gardener to the, the, the landscape, didn't you, Cecil? No, I did it all myself. I've seen an episode of um, Ground Force, so I know perfectly well what to do with gardens. Right, all right then. So here we see outside, look at all the tart tart torches. Yes, the tart tart torches. It's a bit bloody massive, Paul. It's a bit bloody massive. Problems with the... There's not a hole there, is it, Cecil? No, it's not. It's just because I've got fraps running. What's this then? Um, I don't know, but there's a reliquary inside. Go inside, Paul. All right, then. Treasure. Oh, a wooden sword. That belonged to Moses, um, apparently. Oh, a gargoyle! There's a gargoyle there! It's gone. It's done a runner. Right then, so you're going to tell me what these symbols mean, Cecil? Yes. Um, this one here on the left, but we're looking at it now, that's a symbol for, um, say the space invader at the top there and then it's coming in it's invading our donut space it's come for our donuts that one um which is uh p part of the religion that this is and then this is about anchors um the butter and the thing on a boat don't know why and then this one is well it's just some shapes really it doesn't really mean much um that's supposed to be a a a, a spinal oh segment vertebrae um I don't know why. I think it's because we're having oxtail soup tonight. And I put it like that because it looks like cross-section of oxtail bone. I think, Paul, I think that's why I did that. Right, right. Well, that's beautiful, Cecil. Here we see a water feature. Right, lovely. It's beautiful, Cecil. You've, you've obviously wasted a vast amount of time doing this nonsense. Yes, I have. Thank you. Thank you for saying that, Paul. And now... Um, tell us, this is where you started, this kind of here, Cecil. Um, are you going to tell us the, 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 uh, the, 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 I can't think of the words, Cecil, I can't think of them. Right, well, I'll tell you why I built this, uh, when we've done a tour around the edge. Look at it in night time, it's beauty, oh, hit a tree, it's beautiful. Somewhere in here I've hidden. Uh, a little secluded spot for any, for me and any of the servant ladies that, whoops, and they want to come on and have, uh, biscuits and, uh, uh, biscuits and cakes we can come on and have in my forest. Uh, King of the Forest song, Wizard of Oz there. Look at that, uh, months of time you've wasted, <laughs> Yes, well, it's all right, Paul. It stops, stops me, uh, you know, doing nothing. Keeps the dark thoughts out of my head. What dark thoughts could you possibly have, Cecil? You're 82. I've got a lot of dark thoughts, Paul. I was in the war, you know. Yeah, sir. Well, I've seen my friends be stabbed to death. Um. I don't know, Paul. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Best not talk about that, I think. I'd just like to say thank you to whoever built it, but, uh... Yes. Gentle. Oh dear. See, when you're running fraps, this game doesn't like it. And what do these symbols mean? Sether. Well, they're all, all different kinds of anchors as well. Um, Why? Why are you obsessed with anchors, Cecil? Because I was in the Navy. Right, okay. Alright then. I'll, uh, 
and leave it there. Right, and then we got through here. Uh, landscape, landscape, landscape. And Angela Lansbury was my inspiration for this fountain here. Because it's quite round, and her face is quite round, and it's a bit flat, and her face is quite flat. Right, right, I see, and there's, there's the boat. The burnt down boat that burnt down five times. Let's just have a quick peek at that. Right, oh. right Paul, I'd like to tell you why I decided to build an abbey. Alright then, alright then, you can, alright then. Right, I'll just make it there. You see, I initially found this mountain ridge here, and I thought to my silly old self, Oh, that's nice, it reminds me a bit of the uh, cliff tops at Whitby. Does it? Well, it did do, and I thought, you know what would be nice? To have like a ruined castle, just the top here, just on this bit here. So, I thought, right, I'll build one, but I best not build it here. Because I don't know how close we are to the top of the world. And then I'll ruin it, um, and make it look like it's a ruin. So, come on to you now, Paul. What? I'm sorry, I'm doing your catchphrase. But I don't, I don't say I'm, I'm 32 all the time, do I? Don't, don't pinch your arms. Oh, excuse me, there's computers loading it slowly because of the issues. Shoes. Yes. So I built this first bit and it was copied off this picture of Whitby Abbey. Oh, that's pleasant to look at. Yes. Come back to the video now and see it's sort of similar, yes. But it, and then I built the, the, this bit. Um, and then I built the outside bit. Well, it was inside at that time. See these arches? So, yeah, I built them. And I thought, yes. Then I got a bit bored and thought, well, I'll, ju I'll just add a bit of uh, trunking on the outside. Look at that. Dreadful. Um, and then I accidentally built this. And then I thought, but well, obviously that's not going to fit on top of a hill anymore. So forget it. I'll just build it in situ and full size. And three months le whoops. And three months. I haven't finished this bit, Paul. Don't look. I mean. Three months later, it's finished. Except this bit finished dead. Now I'm waiting for the world height to double so I can have a huge spiky tower coming up there into the sun. Right. Collapse onto Earth now. Uh, look at the flag, Cecil. They're my favourite colours, Paul. Right then, well, let's bore them even further and show them all the different stages. It was all hand built, by the way. Honest, I didn't just copy and paste bits and bits and bits. You didn't copy and paste any of it, Paul. I did it all. Yeah, that's true. How old are you, Dad? Oh, shut up, Paul. Don't wind me up. Right. Um, the inspiration for these windows uh, was from, um, well, I better not say it's a little bit rude. What do you mean? Can't say it, Paul. All right, then. Right, let's, let's go to the slideshows. Yes, gentle. So this is the very first bit we did, wasn't it, Paul? Well, I didn't, I didn't do jack shit to this, Cecil. Please, please refrain from swearing while we're looking at pictures of what will be in Abbey Paul. A sacrilege. It's not the reason dead. Oh, that's a nice shot. Yes, now this is the first section. Um, I built it. Oh, and that's the the back bit inside finished without any of the windows. Now, oh, I was going to go. There's the windows. Um, that's the right hand side. I did that and then the. That's it in the daytime. I finished off the roof there. That's nice, isn't it, to look at? It's the inside, it's lovely. Yeah, alright, don't, don't try and narrate on every single picture, because you, you're going to struggle. You only get a few seconds per picture. Look, that's the back finished, Paul. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Now, of course, my favourite uh, feature is the flags. I have a, oh, that's the front. What about the flags? Oh, never mind, they've gone now. That's what will become the door, the front door, you see, that you'd go through. Oh, there's the windows. Alright, Dad, put them strips those down. Sorry, what's that? It's a fidget, a bit bored. 
yeah so now this is the front as we see here um, this is probably uh, at least a month's work there that's uh, first test and oh look at it it's just it's, it's a it's a starny dream oh there's the the building inspector coming to make sure everything was up to card and look at don't know what that is gentleman's head paladin that's it's his face that was blowing up oh dear don't know what's going on there lads sorry i think i forgot to delete them never mind to do that now what's that i don't know it's too dark but i can't really see i'm yelling <gasps> oh a bit bored tired i mean that's the front without the torches on of course oh this is when we got some special shaders in oh look how beautiful it is it's beautiful no, it says it's just a bit too bright. There's a bit too much bloom on it there, I think. Yeah, that's not my abbey. No, but it's nice, little. Oh, there I am with an arrow through my knee for some strange reason. There's the admins and the... Oh, it's gone. That's nice. Yeah, I like the shadow everything casts. It's beautiful. Oh, the snowies never look so lovely. Uh, that's it there. Ah, oh, it looks like artwork. It could be box art, could that? Well, I'm not sure. That could, with my nipples. And I'm looking inquisitively at Framebog, going, hmm, not sure, lad. But I am sure about that as a flag. And as I was saying before, my flags are my favourite feature on the entire build. Merely, oh, that's where the, the shader went wrong, so we had to get rid of it then. Oh, right. Oh, it's dark inside, isn't it? Oh, I don't like it. It's a bit, oh, a bit, oh. Yes, and then I thought I'd uh, I'd illuminate the rims of everywhere we did it inside. We did the chairs there, and we did uh, uh, yes. Oh no, that carpet looks different to how it looks in the final version. That is interesting, Cecil. Tell me about it. Right, I will do. Um, we did the carpets. Well, I did the carp. No, we. I did it all. And then I thought, no, it's not opulent enough. So I did it in red and black, and it gave it a Nazi feel, which could be. Um, correct for an abbey if the statue could be in Nazi Germany or something. I don't know. Not really thought its location through. Right, all right. And there's some of my fine art uh, archers. Yeah, clamshells, if you will. They're not clamshells, Paul. Why are they then, Sizzle? Not telling you. Mm, all right then. And there we see the the, the the finished pretty much. Oh well, that's a terrible picture. That's my fountain from the top. You see, it looks like a, an egg. No, really, it doesn't really say so. I know, I'm, I'm reaching, Paul. I'm reaching for things to talk about. I don't know what to say. See that, it's red and black now. Kept the green, though, because I like it, because it reminds me of Christmas. Oh, yes, and Tessa, you love Christmas just as much. That's an artist shot. You love Christmas just as much as me. Yes, I don't know why there's uh, St. Clement there, just looking up, saying, How do? Don't know what that is inside of somebody's face. The, oh, that's nice with the moon. I expect a werewolf to be behind it. Not Paul, it's hallowed ground. And you don't get werewolves and vampires on there. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice depth of field. There with the blurred out candle sticks. Oh. Ooh, ominous. Yes, tears a bit. Oh, that chandelier is made of wood. Cheap, cheap, cheap building materials. All things are going to collapse one day. It was quickly put up. I didn't make any foundations, it's all just on a lake, so if, if we have a flood, we're all doomed. Alright, so, God, but how many more of this stuff is there to go, Dad? Um, I don't know. Oh, look, that's nice. That could be for some um, estate agent work. Little cheeky shot there through some cobblestones. God, but it. So, would you say this project got away from you, Cecil? And got far too much. Oh, look, that gentleman there. Far too big for you. Nah. Do you wish you'd not started it now? It was stupid, Paul. It's wonderful. It's the best thing I've ever built it. Oh. Oh, dear. Uh, no. It's a lady. Is that Cecil? None, none of your business, Paul. It's just a player. Leave her alone. <laughs> and there I see. Frame blog. <coughs> just reflecting on things thinking about life, the universe, the galaxy, oh, flipping heck, 
the galaxy and everything. But but he's enjoying it. Look at it, he's having a happy time thinking about. Or maybe he's just inspecting my cobble. Making sure every brick's in the right place. Maybe he's off dreaming about his next space flight. The little Lego gentleman there. How do, sir? And now I'm off for my next build. I shall build a two pair. Yes, oh, I've already built one. Oh, never mind. Well, um, any final words, Paul? Yep, you've massively wasted uh, quite a lot of your life doing this, Cecil. Quite, quite a lot of your life. Right. Well, sod you, you stupid fat boy. It's better than just watching, you know, Knight Rider videos on VHS. The definition on that is really poor. You should get it on Blu-ray. Shut up. Can't afford it, can I? Not ribbing it in. I will do, Paul. I will do. Where's DJ Jimmington gone? Disappear. There he is, hiding. Camouflaged in his, in his outfit. Little... Another little spaceman, of course, there. All right, Dad, shut up. I'm going on about it. All right, thanks for looking at it. Bye! Nah.